Okay, so I have a uh, SpongeBob Area X Krusty Krab. All right, it's from uh, it's Chinese, but this is what it looks like. Let me open it up. There's nine bags. I was counting it. All right, so this is how the book looks. It looks very similar to how Lego looks. So look, there's nine bags. That'll be the finished project. Those are the figures that it comes with. Let's see if there's any more. All right, so <clears throat> the detail looks pretty good. It actually looks like it's really good quality too. It really reminds me of just like Lego. Like I was reading online that you can't really get this. You have to order it from a website. You can't just buy it in the United States for some reason. This is the instructions that came with that. No clue really what it says. But welcome to the Krusty Krab. Here is the stickers that it came with. All right, so it came with two books. All right, so it's Area X uh, AB0027, nine bags. All right, so here's the figures here. Here's a little close up of them. It looks really similar to Lego though. So we'll see. I'll build it now. I'm going to put it together about halfway and then I'll show you what it looks like. But this is like an overview of all the bags here. And it, you could get it with a box, but it was $30 extra for a box, so not worth it. <laughs> and I'll, I'm going to put a link below to, to show you like where I got it from, so you can check it out if you want to. And then we'll see how it looks. So I'm going to start it now and see how it goes. So this is after the first book. All right, so this is the Krusty Krab sign. All right, it has a enter sign as well. Comes with a boating car. I think that's what it's called, boating car. <laughs> I don't remember. There's a dumpster. See, and all these, these pieces here, it's printed on. So, the detail on this is actually very good. Here are the figures that it comes with. Like they're bigger than Lego, but here's SpongeBob. Squidward. Nah. <laughs> His arm fell off. There we go. Squidward. And then, it's just a customer, Bikini Bottom. Here's Mr. Krabs. And there was another one. Here it is. All right. And now the inside of the store. So, let me pick it up to show you what it looks like. Here's the front of it. It's pretty detailed. That little wire, I'll show you in a second what that is. But see, once again, all these pieces are printed. Like, they're actually really nice. Alright, so there's the, uh, let's see if you can see it. The vending machine. Alright. There's four tables, some chairs, there's a teddy bear. Or a claw machine, claw machine, not vending machine, sorry. But it's very detailed. Alright. So this room right here, bathroom. I'll move it a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Here is the kitchen. Let me turn it this way. It's pretty cool though, there's a sink on the wall. There's a little storage cabinet with the grill on this side. There's a little mustard and ketchup dispenser. See that? It's kind of hard to see. There's a little knife hanging too. And then there's Krabby Patties in the window. 
And then look at the the menu that has all the prices on it. There's a bill, all right. And then these doors open up too. So so they open. Kind of flimsy, but there's more Krabby Patties in there. Get a better angle from the dining area. All right, here's Mr. Krabs' office. All right, there's money, of course. Um, like if you could see the chair, there's the chair with a little like treasure chest. There's a clock on the wall. I, I thought it was cool too. Is like in the show. There's a like it's right there. It's hard to see. There it is. It's uh, his framed uh, first dollar bill that he got. So, overall, though, it's actually pretty cool. This has so much detail to it. And a lot of the pieces are different than Lego. They're kind of, it's kind of weird, some of them. But overall, it's pretty cool. It's legit for sure. All right, and now there's, there's one thing I thought that was really cool, too. There's a little switch here. And that's lighting. And then, see, these pieces were just, it's like built into the piece. So, the lighting is very cool. See, now I'm going to put the light on too. See that? And also, there's plankton crushed on the floor. It's like someone stepped on them. Let me see there. That's a better angle there. But I'm going to do the next book, finish it. It looks like it's like the outer shell. And then this kind of could slide in and out once you have it completed. So, we'll see how that goes. And then we'll go from there. All right, so here it is completed. All right, it's, we we already had these done. The sign, the boat, the dumpster. So let me move this out of the way. The sign again. All right. So this opens up. All you do is pull this out. See if it will go smoothly. There it is. So see that? Here's the little roof insert inside here. The new part that I added uh, is this little attic. Has a trophy, HVAC, there's a treasure chest. There's plankton. See him? Hard, hard to see. There he is right there. All right. This is the part we went over earlier. The table fell off. I gotta fix that, but the functionality is pretty cool. How it opens up and slides out. Let's see if it slides back. Uh, it's not not the smoothest, and this one looks like it's not lined up right. Uh, I gotta fix it. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's see if I can do it now. See, this is an example. There it is. <laughs> kind of stressful. It works, but it's not amazing. But honestly, it's pretty cool. Very detailed. There's a little antenna on the roof, a little chimney. All right. Let me spin it around. Look at the side here. Both sides have that. This is the look from the back. All right. So overall, definitely worth checking out. It's not that, certain parts are hard to build, but honestly, it's pretty cool. It's just that it's not the smoothest. Like, let me try to do it again. See, I don't wanna just pull it. It worries me. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, see, look at that. Part of it fell off. There we go. One piece fell off. I gotta fix it. <laughs> Alright, but here's the lighting. So, let's look how, let's see how it looks with the lighting from here. Alright, so, it's pretty cool. Just knocked another piece off. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's kind of flimsy, honestly. But if you want a SpongeBob uh, set, it's pretty cool. It's by Area X. And if you look at it, it says it's, it looks like it's actually licensed. I think I don't know if you can actually see this. Let me adjust it. Uh, it's sliding out. But right there, Viacom 2023. So it's a licensed set. It's just that it's hard to get in the United States. I don't know why. So these are the figures again. And this is compared to the uh, Lego figure. So you can just see the size. Let me put them in my hands right here. Here's SpongeBob. Legos on the left. We'll do Mr. Krabs as well. Just look at the size difference. Major size difference. Alright, so Patrick and Squidward we'll do next. Here's Patrick. So, big difference. And then here's the Squidwards that we have. Way different. But honestly, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of detail. And if you actually watch the show... It looks just like the, the stuff in the show. Like, let me slide it open again. Just, it just makes me a little nervous. I'm going to put this piece back on, too, since I'm already open it. All right. Uh, there we go. Like, just the detail alone. Mr. Krabs' office, it looks like, pretty much like the show. The kitchen looks the same. There's the... Where everyone orders it as the menu. There's a little bathroom. Just overall, it, it looks really good. It, I would recommend getting this, honestly. It has everything. If you, if you like the show, it is worth checking out. Like, it literally has everything. <laughs> it's just a little, uh, a little sketchy when you open it. Makes me nervous. <laughs> it's going to fall apart. See, the spark came up a little bit when we put it back down. 100% check this out. It's worth getting. It's Area X. And it's like, just look at, look at the instruction book. Like, it looks like it's in like Chinese, I don't know. But it is, it has Viacom International on it. So it looks like it's, it's like a new set that's actually sponsored by them. So... I recommend it. Definitely worth checking out. I'm going to put a link for it down below. And then if you want to check it out. But it's definitely worth it. Very cool. A lot of fun. If you like Spongebob, definitely get it. Alright, well thanks for watching.